Hey, so I'm here with my buddy David Woodrow. He is the creator slash inventor of this game called Beer Yards, and we're gonna teach you how to play today. Okay, so the way we're gonna start it is we're each gonna go down one side, closest to the gutter, without going in goes first. Okay. So I'll take the right side, you take your right side, and just don't drop it in. And this table is super fast and compared to most. All right, you're up. You're first. Oh, so you just can't get it in the you, thing? Or the gutter. You can't just close. Like, I've seen people literally go past and sit right on the edge sometimes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I have learned a trick about this game. What's that? That's why I take, I take fast shots. So if, if I get both balls to drop before you plug the first one, yep. then I get balls back. It, so if both of them go in the same hole, you get balls back. But if there's one sitting there, and then the second one comes in, and they go in two separate ones, you get to plug both and get balls back. But that has to be still standing. So it has to be not moving at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. But also all of the posters that come with it, they have house rules. So whatever you know, bar or garage or living room you're hanging out in, you can have your own house rules. I cannot believe that worked. I can't believe it either because these two me and my kids have been playing this a lot. These two are the hardest ones. Like You don't think this is the hardest one? No, these two are the hardest ones. Yeah? These are my last two. Every time? Every time. <laughs> every single time. But if you want to play beer, if you want to play uh, beer pong rules, then you got to drink every time a, a cap's put in. Oh, there really? you go. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, for you saying those are the hardest ones, you got real close to getting both of them right just That then. would have been nothing but just blind luck. <laughs> you know, they say a blind hog will find a nut every now and then. I mean, you are not wrong. All right, so, try and mix this up a little bit. Nope, missed it. Too hot. Damn it, missed it twice. Ah, oh, robbed. This is a game of heartbreak. It is. Oh, it's so ridiculous. Luckily, we couldn't make the, the holes the way we wanted to because we were going to put a bevel on them and it was just going to like loop, loop, loop them in and out real quick. Come on. Yeah. Some days they'll drop in good, some days they won't. There we go. Let's get both of them. All right. So here's a fun rule to, to address now. Yep. Is if you hit one of these balls into one of your holes, yep. then your opponent, like if he hits one of these into one of these holes, I can choose whichever plug I want to pull out. And pull it out, yeah. yeah. So it's very rare, but I have seen it. If somehow I hit one of those pegs so hard it comes back and I drop a green one in here on my turn, I still get to take one. It's like near impossible, but it has been done before. I've really? Seen it, I've seen it twice. But if the green balls or the defensive balls go in the gutter, that means nothing. Ah, dang it. And it's a good defensive strategy because it blocks off part of the table. Yeah. Ooh, that was close, actually. And the ball has to be inside the kitchen, which is behind this first cup. Yeah, you just got to be behind the front of the front cup. There you go. There you go. And like you just said, actually, you know what? I'm going to take it easy on it. I'm going to let that one go. I, you're a better man than me because I'd have shown <laughs> no mercy. That was coming out. Which is fair. Which is fair. No. No, oh, there it goes. Okay. But he can still, he can still drop both balls in. Hopefully. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I got it one. It worked out. Okay. But yeah, if, the, if both of those would have went in, that would have been balls back. So somebody asked me the other night on live when we were playing, mm -hmm. um, can you jump the ball? Mm. Would that so count the, as a bank? So the official rules do not address jumping at all. But the house rules, <laughs> nice. The house rules at uh, Tapworks downtown, if you, if you jump it in, that's game over. Really? That's how they play it. If you jump it in, it's game over. Which is kind of cool because it's super hard to jump. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. well, I mean, just to get the ball to drop in here. Well, because, I mean, you've yeah. seen how they lip out. Yep. Like, just imagine the force it's going to take 
to lip out. Don't do it, don't do it. Okay. Um, the force it takes to lip out is so little and the force to take is to jump it is so much. Good shot. So you gotta learn to play those bad boys. If you, if you oh, get yeah. both corners, you can, you can play the bounce this way and this way. Well, one thing that I've learned since these two, I told you earlier, are the hardest ones for me. Mm. I've learned that if you can bank off this and come side rail here and come back is the best way to go at it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that's the first time I've ever heard that. That's rare. Cause that just, it feels like you're taking such an extra long walk. You that was it. so close. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, thank God those uh, balancing pads worked when we put this table in. So that's that does work though. Yeah. That does make sense though. So, yeah, no, dude, the first table we had was so bad. Like we didn't have a gutter. Oh, so in order to get this, you just go straight off. That's what one. I go for. Yeah. Huh. But there are people, so like, say you have this one figured out. Like you're like, if I bounce it here and it goes perfect, people will just recreate this hit and it'll always go in there. It's, really? Yeah. Nope, not enough. Here's a question. What you got? My kids, me and my kids were playing the other night. Yeah. And my kid was getting set up and he dropped one of the cue balls. Is there a penalty against that? Officially, like on the league status, once we get the app and everything going, that's not gonna be anything. But I mean, if you're if you're playing with some shooters and they're not, you know, having no like foolishness, then I'm pretty sure people are gonna count that as a cap, personally. And no, that was close though. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, that green one right there is freaking me out. Let's see if I can go this way. I'm not gonna lie, this felt is like almost, it's fast. It's almost too nice. Wow. All right, I will take that. It's better to be lucky than good, David. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty lucky. Just wish I hit the luck on that, that genetics where your metabolism's just like crazy fast. <laughs> we oh. all do. Right? There it is. You got robbed. I'm not gonna lie, that technique does work. I, I did not think that that was gonna play out the way that did. Dang it. So you, you addressed one thing that automatically ends the game, which yep. is jumping the ball the jump. in. Yeah. Is there anything else that automatically ends the game? Not that I can think of. And I mean, I've probably played like three, 400 games of this stuff from creation to, to now. And, all right, I'll take that. Yeah, when, no, that's the only game ender thing that. When did you start creating this game? No, so this whole thing popped off basically, got out of the military and then opened a bar. And then when COVID hit, we had to shut our bar down. So we honestly all thought we were gonna be homeless. We're like, this is our only income stream. We are screwed. This is the end. And you know, I'm not one to waste alcohol. So I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was about to drop both of those things. Um, so we, like, we just drank everything we had because we thought we, we thought that was the end. And then, um, one drunk night, I got completely destroyed in beer pong and I'm kind of decent at pool. So I was made these rules up and then made this game up because I was like, never again. And we made our first one during COVID. We opened up after that. And then when we got the green light to open from the, the state or the federal government or however that thing plays out. Um, come on, there we go. Give them back to me. Um, <laughs> Dead gummit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, our first night open, I, was, I told everybody, I was like, everybody gets a drink. Like we're celebrating, we're not homeless. And one of my bartenders, she was like, hey, there's this guy outside he said, you need to hurry up and get out there. He needs to talk to you. And I thought like some drunk stranger wanted to fight me because I was drinking gin that night. So 
I ran outside and I was like, what's happening? And he just held out a business card and I was like, what's going on? This, this is confusing. He was like, I'm a patenting attorney. He was like, we need to talk when you sober up. So we did and then this became a thing. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, because this whole thing was just a joke when it started. See, there it I is. was trying to set the ball down so I could possibly get balls back since I'm... Oh, that makes sense. But this felt is really fast, though. But honestly, like, so this whole cap thing, mm -hmm. this just came up because um, my grandma had a bumper pool table. Because we were like, this is almost too easy. Because, like, mm -hmm. once you make the front, you just roll right over it and go in. Mm -hmm. And luckily, my grandma had a, a bumper pool table, which, you know, creatively led to creating more obstacles, which... If you're a good shooter, all you're gonna do is make problems for yourself. And you're fixing to win the game right here. I'm really hoping it does. It's a pretty easy shot. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Let's go. But yeah, so what did you think about this when you first saw it? Oh, I, it's, it's one of the coolest games that I've seen in a long time. And one thing that I was telling you is that I really enjoy the game because me and my 12 year old can play mm. and like I'm pretty decent at shooting pool. So if we played like a regular pool game, I would wax him every time, mm -hmm. right? But with this, there's so many obstacles to get around that it pretty much like levels the playing field. Well, and so we actually, the defense balls were not even a thing until we started going through the patenting process. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got this one. There it is. But the ball came back instead of trailing off that way <laughs> um yeah the green balls or the defense balls whatever color they end up being that all popped off because of uh the patenting process and they were like look once this thing's set it's set so we uh took a month you gotta be kidding me we took a month oh that green ball's right in my way um to see if it was fully completed and this, okay, so I'm gonna stop playing for a second. This is the craziest part of this whole story. It's 100% true, and I really wish it wasn't because it was the weirdest thing socially that has ever happened. So we're outside, we're drinking, we're hanging out, we're dealing with customers, blah, blah, blah. And this old, like, what I would assume would be a homeless guy, walked up. This dude's wearing nothing but leather. Leather vest, leather cowboy hat, he's got chaps on. We're in Florida. Was he a dominatrix? Could be. <laughs> I mean, he was real old, but... He's wearing, like, and we're in Florida in June. Right. So he's like, hey, it's cool, whatever. We're like, yeah, we got this pool table in here. He's like, I'm really good at pool. And we're like, all right, cool, whatever. He's like, no, my dad used to own a pool hall in Los Angeles, right next to um, uh, Chuck Norris's dojo. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's bullshit, and I don't believe you. He was like, no, it's 100% true, because I used to see Bob Barker every day. And I was like, first of all, that doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? He was like, look it up. Bob Barker took like 10 years of martial arts under Chuck Norris. And he's like, I saw him every day as a little That's kid. That's why he beat Adam Sandler up in Happy Gilmore. Yeah, so I Googled it. It's 100% true. And I was like, all right, I call bullshit. You Googled that and you're just trying to make me look dumb. Mm -hmm. He beat the brakes off of everybody who worked there. And I mean, all really? my bartenders. Just and, a pool short. Oh, dude, that kid, that, I could say a kid. That, Old man is a monster. Okay, so. Just because you've capped them all off does not that mean That does not mean over. it's over. So all you have to do is make both. That's mm -hmm. all you gotta do. Which and is then, pretty easy setup. You got a recipe. good, yeah, you got a good recipe right here. I'm gonna make sure that I don't go off the table with that first one. Woo! Now you just made a problem for yourself. I swear to God if he makes this. Oh, that was so close. That was good. Almost had the game. So that yeah. automatically wins the game. That's game. Yeah, yeah. Unless you get doubles on the redemption shot, it's nothing. That's why I've learned that I try to go for these hardest ones first. Yeah. Because if my opponent does get everything plugged, it still leaves easy ones for me to try to... Well, so say this was the case. So say I, I made the last one and you only had one left. If you would have put both of them in here, no redemption, you instantly win. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's all depending on how many are left. Hmm. So it's a really good way to like 
stomp somebody's dreams out real fast. I like it. Dude, yeah. the game's awesome. I can't wait to see how big this goes. Dude, I'm excited that the the app idea and all the league tournament stuff and the fact that it comes in a 10 cup, which is what we're playing now, and then there's gonna be a six cup. So we wanna do like amateurs for the six cup, uh, pros for the 10 cup, and then we wanna have a doubles. So you could have a partner, I could have a partner, we each take one shot, and then there could be a men's league, a women's league, a doubles league, we can do the whole thing. So I love it. Dude, this I appreciate it. Cool. I'm just glad you like it, man. I'm, I'm super I'm super proud of you. This, thank you, dude. It's really cool. Huh? We enjoy playing it like no no bullshit. I love we play it. every night, so well good deal. All right, man. Well, we'll see you in the future, guys.